What's up guys? Classic Game Freak here and I'm here with a pickups video. Yeah, pickups video. And all I gotta say is Espresso Maker for three dollars. What? Oh, but seriously, yes, I've got a pickups video I thought I wanted to share with you guys. I've got some good stuff. I went thrifting today and actually found, like I said, some really great stuff and I'm really excited about them so I really had to share it. Now mind you, I do have some stuff on these shelves and here in front of me that I still have yet to show you guys in another pickup video. I haven't filmed, I swear, I just need to get it edited and I've been really lazy so um, sorry about that. But uh, I'm going to show you what I got today and I promise you I'll show you that stack of what I got before all this in an upcoming video, I promise. So today's thrifting, it was a slow day to start out with and I was getting discouraged. We'd gone to a few places and to be quite honest, I was just ready to just call it and say, hey, let's go home. Um, went to a farmer's market, got some great like mustard, habanero mustard, which is freaking awesome. Apple pie, jelly, things like that. Really cool stuff. I love farmer's markets. I love fresh food, you know, fresh ingredients. Just fantastic to me. I love it. But no, so I started picking stuff up. I started finding stuff. First off, I had to have this because I am a Guitar Hero fan. Both of my guitars, my Les Paul guitar from Guitar Hero 3 on the Xbox 360 is broke. I don't know what's going on with the button. It doesn't want to work right, the yellow button. And my Explorer guitar for the Guitar Hero 2 on the Xbox broke. So I was overjoyed when I found this for, what is it, what, like two dollars? Yeah, two dollars. Um, it sounds like something's rattling in there. I hope it's nothing important, but uh, it works. Uh, the whammy bar actually works. The, the whammy bar actually works. The buttons feel good, so um, I'm hoping this works. It's just missing the USB plug on there, which I have it from my broken guitar. So I love me some Guitar Hero. I'm actually turning my Xbox 360 on tonight. I am a huge PC fan, okay? Back in the day, I loved playing PC games. So it's natural to want to get those old PC games in the big ass boxes they used to sell them in. So whenever I saw this one at my Goodwill, I couldn't pass it up. And that is Descent Free Space. These boxes are massive, okay? They, they put these in uh, the same section as board games and so on. So when you find one of these, it's like, oh, hey, that ain't a board game. No, Descent Free Space was a great, not a flight simulator, but it was a space dog fight type game. Had nothing to do with the original Descent game, which was Underground Caverns, but um, $3 for that. I went to a pawn shop that I had driven by countless times, never gone in it, and I'm glad I went into it today because I picked up four things in there that I'm really happy to have. I'm really overjoyed to have found. First off, X-Wing Alliance on the PC, of course. There's I, The art on these PC games were just fantastic. The Star Wars games were no exception. Uh, games like Death Track or Mech Warrior, they were so epic on the PC. I miss this. Games lack originality these days, and it's a crying shame because whenever I'd see games like this, I wanted to play them. Games that have just the title and some dirt or whatever is just ridiculous. Yes, I'm looking at you, Rage. What would X Wing Alliance be without TIE Fighter on the PC? This this box, I gotta show you guys close up, okay? Look at that. Hologram or holographic. Just gorgeous. I love it. Came with everything in there. Just these games were so hard and when your fighter died, when your character died, I believe, unless that's Wing Commander, you had to start over. Um I remember this game being hard as balls, okay? I'm not gonna lie. And then to round out the PC games that I picked up, what would X-Wing Alliance and TIE Fighter be without the X-Wing Collector's CD-ROM Edition? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Open her up, got the game, comes with the freaking strategy guide for it. This thing's heavy. This thing came out in 93. I didn't even know strategy guides existed back in the day. But there you go. 
PC gaming at its finest. Last but not least at that pawn shop. Picked this up for $3 and I said why not? Because it's a great game on the Sega Genesis and that's Batman Returns. Um, just, I love the old Batman games. Uh, this was great on the Super Nintendo as well. And um, can't complain, $3? Yeah, why not? Last place we stepped up to was a little consignment shop, just heading right out of town. Walked in there, disappointed to find a copy of Metal Gear Solid 4 for like $7. And, uh, a really, really beat to hell copy of Siphon Filter, the greatest hits edition for a buck. Yeah, I know it's a buck, but it was really, really in rough shape. And for just a dollar, I still couldn't see buying it. Looking around, and I see this bag. I'm like, okay, what's in this bag? And realize that it is a PlayStation 2. As is, still haven't tested it. Uh, I haven't actually opened it yet. It came with all the cords. Came with a controller. Let me show you this controller, guys. Rough condition. Uh, the rubber is gone off of those. And it's really taped to hell. So, um, I don't know what was going on there. Um, let's see if there's anything in here at all. Ah, well, it's a game, but it's Duel Masters. Um, let's take a look in here. Oh my god. That, I, you can never see these stupid CDs. There we go, look at that. Ooh, it's even cracked. It's even cracked in the middle. Ooh. This thing's nasty, needs to be cleaned up. Got it for eight dollars. Eight dollars. Not too shabby. And last, but not least, I was rummaging through. I had given up trying to find anything else really in the store when I looked up and I saw a crate that said, Atari with games, $40. Why not? So, I'm gonna take the camera right now and I'm gonna show you guys this Atari. Atari 2600, right? Came with, I think I counted 21 games, but I really don't know what's in here. I wanted to keep this for you guys. I wanted to keep the, the magic here. Uh, you guys opening it up with me. You wanna take a look? So first off, Yars Revenge. That's actually a really good one. Got Buck Rogers, Planet of Doom. Yeah, it could be in better shape, but hey. Take a look at those cons. Ooh, ooh. That really needs to be cleaned. Got Kangaroo. I'm looking for an ET, people. Got Vanguard. Vanguard's not too bad. It's alright. Got Pole Position. That's a classic. Uh -uh. <clears throat> pole Position, anybody? Yeah, Pole Position. Oh my god. Yeah, I used to have this. Mousetrap. This was a great game. I played this all the time. I am so happy to have that. Sweet. Space Cavern? I don't think I've ever heard of that. Hmm. I might have to take a look. Got. Football! Oops. We got. Donkey Kong! Sweet! I was hoping that wasn't going to be another mousetrap. We have. Space Invaders. Which I think I have, yeah, I have a copy over there. Bam! Space Invaders! We have got... Squeezebox. The hell? Huh. Six game variations. I don't think I've heard of that one. We've got... Doo -doo -doo -doo, another space cap. Okay, cool, cool. And mind you, I don't know if these have any value to them whatsoever, really. I mean, some of them, you know, go for a couple bucks, but, like, Space Cavern, I'd never heard of it. Squeeze Box, same thing. Got Asteroids. Tried and true classic. Come on, Defender. Come on, I want a Defender. Give me a Defender. I love Defender. Got another football. Okay, wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Didn't I have football in here? Was this a different 
type of football. Yeah, I guess so. That's real sports football. Okay. Come on, defender! I want a defender! Millipede! Yes! I love Millipede! Try not to look at the bag early, guys. Cosmic Arc. Uh, I don't think I played that one. Holy crap. Star Raiders. Ah, uh, yeah! Heck yeah! Worm War 1? Wow. Ooh, it's rough. Oh! We have Battle Zone. That's a great arcade game. So, the explosive arcade hit. And the last one in the bag. Tell what it is. That's fine. I want the surprise to be shared. Reactor. Oh, can't say I played that one either. So there you go. Uh, and then one that wasn't in the bag there. It looks like it's got paint on it and spackle and whatnot. Is uh, Pac-Man. So yeah. And then the console itself came with the cords. I'm gonna have to detangle them. But it came with the paddles, or instead of the actual joystick, so I'm going to have to get a, joy a joystick or two for this, but there you go. And there you have it, guys. This is my haul for the day, for probably a couple weeks, but um, not too shabby if I do say so myself. My cat, seriously, needs to get his butt out of the way. He's just got to, like, try to sniff down everything. But anyway, thanks for watching. As I said, I've got that other pickup video coming here really soon. I've got some great stuff in that that I had to show off. And um, so look forward to that. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.